Welcome ladies and gentlemen to my new video where I am going to give you guys my five top tips that every single Echo player needs to know. Now if you're new to my content, my name is Lofit, I do educational content, I do tips videos, guide videos, and I also stream here on YouTube so make sure to hit that notification button as well. If you guys have any questions for me or you'd like to chat uh, personally just one on one, I'm going to put a link to my Discord uh, down below if that interests you at all. The reason why I really wanted to get into Echo today is because there's been quite a few uh, people that have requested it so i'm really open to um requests if you have a champion you really want to see me cover uh, make sure to comment down below as well as your own echo tips if you want to share um something i love to see kind of a, a little bit of a forum down there below the videos where um people are just discussing how they've personally found success on echo because some people might find uh, different ways to um get a win out of echo than other people so um with that all wrapped up let's get right into the video all right, and getting into the first tip, I'm going to go over something pr pretty basic that a lot of Echo players are going to understand, but I'm going to kind of add a couple of different layers that you can um, just kind of add on top of this tip that are really going to help with confusing the enemy, and that is... With your W and parallel convergence, you really want to be ducking out into Fog of War so they do not get the audio cue and the SFX cue of you um, doing the kind of the backwards animation of you um, hitting the little uh, orb over to them for the W. So how you want to set this up, um, because a lot of the times people are going to be looking for that um, to come when they see you duck out of vision nowadays because people understand that um, good echo players usually hide when they're W and you can either do it from here. You can do it from here. There's a couple different ways, but how I want you guys to start setting it up is to just feign it a couple times. You can go over here in ward. You can go over and sit in the bush a little bit. Just kind of add a little bit of mysteriousness to it. You don't. The last thing you want to do um, when you're trying to look to set up your W is only you, every single time you duck into fog of war, you're throwing your W. It's going to become really predictable, and people are going to start understanding your play pattern, and they're going to start moving accordingly. And the same thing is uh, you want to kind of track their movement. If they're constantly feigning to this side, you want to kind of lean your W a little bit over to um, the left side as opposed to being right behind it and the same if they're leaning over to the right side so just add this kind of into your repertoire of sometimes do the feign um fog of war and throwing out a w and then make sure you're leading it to the certain part of the enemy this is going to make your w as um least predictable as possible and getting you some of those really strong early game um stuns well early and late game stuns with your parallel convergence and providing you a slow field that is just going to allow some of those early game uh early lane kills that uh, echo can uh pull off if you pull off his uh kit correctly and uh, if you guys have any questions with these tips please comment down below and i love to help you out and that will wrap up tip number one Alright, and getting into tip number two, I want to talk a little bit about his turnaround potential when you are playing Echo. Because he has a rather large shield on his W and a lot of turnaround potential with his stun and shield out of his W, we really want to take advantage of his ability to quickly turn uh, the tables on the enemy. And this is going to be really um, just... Just an amazing tool you can start learning when you play Echo because you are able to get an extremely large movement speed buff when you um, proc your resonance and you uh, hit him with a couple of abilities. You're able to run away quite, quite quickly. See this buff right here? And you can lure them really deep into your lane and looking for that turnaround potential with your alt and W. So always look for those enemies that are going to overchase you when you have low HP points. Now this is going to happen extremely regularly in lower elos. If you're playing from something from like iron to gold, people are really going to overchase Echo because they don't understand that his movement speed that he gains is going to make him extremely elusive as well as the two slows that are coming out of his Q and his W and his dash that is not, um, you don't have to target it at something, you can just um, kind of jump over a wall with it is really going to allow him to bait his enemies into a just a really tough position for them so always look to lead an enemy that is looking to overchase you into your allied champions if you feel like you have um, the upper hand and one other thing i really want to talk about is with your ultimate and the turnaround potential that you can obtain when you are playing Echo, you want to look a little bit at the stream that is behind the champion, or behind your shadow. You don't always want to be looking at the exact um, place your shadow is, because there's going to be a little bit of a delay in between um, when you think is a perfect spot and when your button is going to hit the mouse. So you want to kind of lead yourself, depending on how quickly your reflexes is. If you're someone that's like 
like 16 and you're really <laughs> you're taking energy drinks you could pretty much do it off your shadow but if you're like me someone that's a bit older don't have the fastest reflexes you want to kind of press it when you think that it's going to be a little bit ahead of the um shadow because it, there's just a little bit of input lag with the older brain so um kind of factor those things in along and you are going to start seeing yourself getting quite a few more kills um if you feign retreat when you have the upper hand in the one-on-one -on -one because in general when lower elo players see you run they're like oh he thinks i'm gonna win this fight he's not gonna turn around i bet i could win this fight and you're gonna give them a false sense of confidence and then you're gonna clobber them over the head with your ultimate and your superior w placement um just a really quick thing i wanted to talk about if they're about this far away and you throw out your w you want to go one two three and then right when you hit and get your EQ down, um, I might have done that a little bit quick, but you should be getting in that stun bubble as soon as that happens. You can make it a little bit delayed. One, two, three, four, and you should be hitting it right there. And it will be uh, just a good timing to have in your head um, because it does it take a rather long time to set this up. It is a basic ability and it is an AOE stun, so they have to make it challenging to land and that will wrap up tip number two. All right, and jumping into tip number three, I want to talk a little bit about a couple small tips that I think could really help you out. So we're going to go over three small tips within this tip. It's tipception. So with the lane and how it's pointing out, if you are starting to see you're pointing in something like a zigs, a really safe lane, they can wave clear from a really long distance away. And if you try and E and W on top of them, they just W satchel charge away. What you can start doing is start pushing them constantly under tower. This is going to cause them to be uh, first of all it's they're going to be second to any kind of roam that is in the river you're going to have priority and secondly they're going to have to use mana if they are not just insanely good at CSing under tower with their autos particularly mages they are going to struggle if you push them under um the tower if there's something that they aren't like a cassiopeia or something so pushing the lane and just getting lane priority is going to be really strong your q will after a couple levels and a bit of ability power you'll be able to one shot the back line and you'll be able to push extremely quickly and how you're going to be able to keep that pressure up is you can use your ultimate 2p 2 tp back to lane if you like using the ignite just make sure that you have your items um, pre-selected that you want to buy and then you ultimate back out and you will just have a um, uh, just a renewed, uh, you'll have an item lead and then you'll be able to push the lane even quicker and you'll probably uh, be able to come back with a bit of an HP lead and have lane priority once again. So always look to take advantage of your chrono break as a TP in a lane where you feel extremely safe and um, you feel like you're not going to be able to kill the enemy. So just make sure you're watching out for those two things because this is a rather large, um, it's a really impactful cooldown. It's not an insanely long cooldown. As you can see with 40% CDR at level three, it's a 30 second cooldown and it's going to be a bit longer um, when you are in the lane phase. So keep that in mind. And the next thing I really want to talk about is the Q. So when you're looking at the Q, you can see that big circle right here that is showing the hitbox of your Q. So um, in that timewinder, if you can just picture it going out, it is going to have that hitbox. So anything that it crosses, it will hit. So as you can see here, it doesn't look like it will hit the enemy champion, but it will hit them because of this hitbox that is displayed. It could probably go even a little bit further back that is displayed in the cursor reticule. So a little bit that was a little bit uh, short. So always just keep this in mind when you are playing Echo is that it displays the hitbox of the Q right here, which is really useful um, for getting that just that max range Q where they don't think it is going to hit them because that doesn't really look like it's going to hit them, but it's just going to be the edge of the pullback that is going to strike. So next up, I really want to talk about optimal terrain. So when you are kiting people out... <clears throat> and you're getting chased or um, if you're looking to invade and looking for just really optimal opportunities to kill people you want to look for corridors echo really thrives in these condensed areas um, for a couple different reasons first of all his q is an aoe ability and if you're throwing it down the middle it's going to be very hard for people to dodge as it comes out quickly and covers quite a bit of terrain also the w is going to cover up the entirety of the corridor so this is going to be an extremely strong place for echo to look to fight as well as his ultimate is another aoe aoe spell so for not only echo but for champions with a lot of aoe in general you always want to look to fight in corridors where you can hit multiple targets and get your team that bit of a lead and that will wrap up tip number three all right and to go along with tip number 
one, we're going to talk a little bit about how you can extend um, just your basic cadence in throwing your Q out and looking for the stuns and the Ws from Fog of War. Now, as you are playing mid lane, you are going to be a lot higher level than both the jungler and the both the bottom lane players. So you want to look to incorporate roams when you're playing Echo in lanes where you are unable to kill the enemy or it looks like your um, bot lane is, can get you easy kills with a lot of CC or that they might need a little bit of help in the early game. For example, if you have a, um, a Janna and a Vayne, it's not going to really be the best bot lane if they're going against something like a Leona and a Tristana and the enemy will be quite likely to over aggress when they have an all in support so they most likely will be further down. So how you want to look to take advantage of Echo and his lane priority he can get with his Q when he can start one shotting the minions and th just your ability to control the wave is to start ducking out of fog as much as possible. Um, and looking to either throw your W if you think you can catch him with the stun or look to roam or you can also set up a vision trap. Now people particularly in low elo, they are really trained heavily to try and follow roams because people always bitch so much about, oh, your mid laner spanned my bot lane 50 times. You need to come help us, which is usually not the best idea, but these people are extremely trained to follow roams or to at least ping their hearts out which is going to um, just cause a lot of miscommunication between the team so as much pressure as you can put out whether it's ducking into fog actually roaming or setting up these traps that i'm about to show you so um most likely the enemy is going to take this route when they do not see you on the map because they will get a false sense of um, comfort not seeing you there they think they will be able to take this um, kind of short route they will not take the extremely safe route of going behind here because they think they will be too late so how you want to look to take advantage of this again we are looking to find them in a extremely condensed area you can look for them if it is a mage a ranged champion you want to let them get as po as close as possible so you do not have to use your E to gap close on them and you want to be looking to throw your W um, maybe uh, right around here on yourself or maybe a little bit behind if you think they are going to run back which most will be quite common and cut off a escape route from them. So setting and sitting in these bushes are going to be really incumbent on a couple of things. You're going to need a sweeper ward or a control ward or else this play can get turned around really easily on you but this is going to be a great way to get a couple of kills and you can also do it over here by ducking into this um bush but always be really careful and make sure that you have vision control when you are ducking in so this can be just a part of the kind of the uh the, uh, i don't know how you'd want to put it, like a, di a a tree of different actions you can do first you can duck into the bush to avoid. Second, you can duck into the bush to throw out a W. Third, you can duck into the bush um, to set up a vision trap on a fake roam. Or the final one, actually going and getting that roam on the enemy jungler or the bot lane. Or uh, you can also um, go up to the top lane. But people are a lot more likely to respond to their bot lane um, getting roamed on uh, than their uh, top lane. So that will wrap up this tip. And again, if you guys have any questions for me, I'd love to help you out in the comments down below. All right, and for the final tip, I'm going to talk about something that is extremely important that is not going to be really too obvious for a lot of mid laners when they are playing Echo and first picking him up. He is a absolutely amazing split pusher for a couple of different reasons. First of all, he has just a great amount of escape if people come and get him. Second, he has a great auto attack reset, and with the changes of your ability power turning into attack damage, look at how much damage these towers are taking um, with the uh, the Lich Bane. It is just going to provide your team with a whole bunch of pressure and uh, around the map when you are playing Echo because you are going to be able to draw two or three people to you to force them to um, for you to back off when you are playing Echo and as you can see you just eviscerate turrets. So always look for those sideline opportunities where you're able to push down towers quickly and get a lot of CS in the process because assassins really really thrive off of getting a lot of resources sources you want to just to look to hoover up as many of the um, cs as possible and shred down turrets and make people follow you around the map and just making sure to use your w and your e to escape if they are a bunch of people coming to get you as well as your passive that will wrap up my final tip if you guys enjoyed the video please remember to uh, like and subscribe and as always guys take it easy